Have you ever had one of those moments where you wake up in the middle of the night and realize you were doing it all wrong? Good morning, everyone. Well, the sun just rose, and I think Dan and I both got a little bit of rest. So we're ready to get that show back on the road. It's about six o'clock now. We have a long journey ahead, so let's continue sailing, shall we? How are you feeling this morning? Very, very sore. And my arm hurts, and my back hurts. Um, yeah, I don't know, I was down here Things were starting to get a little rough. I came down to get the heavy weather vane for the Cape Horn, and before I knew it, I was like in the pantry. <laughs> yeah, so we hove to, and nurse Kika put me back together. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think we're just too tired. I was in too much pain, and Kika was pretty tired, so. Spent the night asleep, which was actually pretty nice. And now, uh, now we're gonna try to go north again. You ready, Captain Kika? <laughs> yeah, I think three or four days to go, right? Yeah, theoretically. Totes good. Mm -hmm. Totes good. Yeah. We decided to alter our course a little bit uh, because out there the waves are a little high. So instead we're going to use that Chinchao reef and go on the inside of it. It's gonna provide us a little bit of protection from the reef and then we'll be able to tack between Mexico and the reef and then back out to where we need to be. It's gonna give us a couple of hours just to just chill and then Tomorrow we'll be able to head back out and scoosh by Cozumel and then cross into Cuba and then poop up to Florida we go. I like your scarf. Yeah, thank you. It's my scarf slash sun protection slash shirt because I, I don't have anything here. <laughs> I don't even know if that was Mexican or I don't think it was US military. Yeah, we got like eight or nine flybys from that little airplane. But he like waved each time. He didn't he didn't like do any weird symbols. He just kind of gave a little wave. So I don't know. Maybe they're out patrolling for people who aren't cleared in, like us, but we're not stopping, so I don't know. Even though the last day-ish of this passage was pretty rough, it's moments like these that makes it all worth it. The sunset tonight is amazing. Yeah, it's calmed down a little bit. Ooh, as I... <laughs> See that? It's a little bit depressing that we're only 30 miles further north than we were the same time yesterday when I cracked my head, but... It's a little bit calmer and the wind's supposed to come out of the east a little bit more. So I think we'll be able to make a straight shot to Cozumel next time we tack, which will be nice, which will set us up for a pretty good run to Key West. And a sunset like this. The sunset's beautiful. Look at this. It makes you forget everything that happened, right? What are you up to today? I am 
I'm uh, doing some laundry. We have a, a two outfit challenge for this whole passage. Basically one for the day and one for the night because it gets a little colder at night. But those clothes start to stink. Oh, it's crazy to think that only four days at sea can create so much nastiness. But my favorite spot to do this right now is inside the cockpit because there's nowhere I can go and this is kind of wedged in and look I can just like dump the water right in front of me Ooh, without having it coming back. Does it last for another three days? Alright. So, slight change of plans. We have two again. <laughs> but this time it's not because one of us is injured. It's because we're slightly altering our course. Not going to Florida, we're going to Cancun instead. The, uh, the forecast when we left was for winds more out of the south, uh, which would have made the crossing from this sort of Cancun, Cuba area, the Yucatan current over to Florida a lot more favorable. Um, but there's like a four knot current that goes west to east there, part of the Gulf Stream. Mm -hmm. And now the wind's forecasted to be blowing straight out of the east, 18 to 25 knots. So it's going to be a miserable passage, yeah. if it's even possible. So there's absolutely no point beating into those waves and making ourselves completely miserable trying to make it to Florida. So we hope to again. And around midnight, one o'clock in the morning, we'll start sailing that way and we'll make it by daylight. So yeah, I think we made the right decision. The least stressful decision. Mm -hmm. Those are the right decisions. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Cancun, here we go. Good night. Good morning everyone. We are back on our way. It's about what seven o'clock in the morning. The sun already rose. It's a beautiful beautiful sunrise and it's a downwind sail straight to Isla Mujeres. We are only less than eight miles away so we should be there in about an hour. I'm actually pretty excited about that. Unfortunately it means time for me to put my pants back on. Yeah, Captain Morgan over here. Five days without pants, it's time to put <laughs> pants back on. You like his pose? He's just like rocking it for I one last this, hour. I call this pose the <laughs> pantsless Captain Morgan. <laughs> Muscle up, buttercup. We are here. Last night, I woke up in the middle of the night and I had the biggest light bulb moment. This recent passage from Guatemala made Den and I realize that for the past four months, we're doing it all wrong. We became so focused and so engaged into this idea of crossing the Atlantic in May that we were putting all of our time and all of our money into this future goal. But we were working so hard on Uma and don't get me wrong, she looks amazing i'm not regretting how much work we put into her but the more time and effort we would put into working on our boat the less time we would put into working on ourselves and that's just not healthy remember when we just started this journey we used to say we are in no hurry to go anywhere ever it's a sailboat like that's the best part about a sailboat is we're in zero hurry to go anywhere ever remember that then i remember yeah somehow we slowly lost our way because we started stressing ourselves and rushing into making sure we would reach the next sport to do the next boat work and we would not we would forget to appreciate the port where we are right now and 
for instance, Guatemala, we spent two months in this beautiful country, but we had our heads focused down, working so hard on the boat, and we've only had time to visit two little things, and we've only realized that we should have stayed longer after we already left, and it's, it's something that we don't want to happen again. That being said, we are going to slow down. But don't get me wrong, we're still going to be sailing, we're still going to make our weekly YouTube videos, and we're still aiming to cross the Atlantic when the time is right, but we want to spend more time in each place that we visit, so we want to spend a little bit more time um, going up the east coast of the states and me hopefully meeting as many of you as we can. However, we're trying not to let tomorrow's goals get in the way of enjoying today. So while we're here at Isla Mujeres, we are going to refocus our attention into ourselves. And I'm not just saying physical health, but also mental health, because self-love is a key ingredient to internal happiness. So we're gonna be doing that while we're here. And make sure that you guys give some time to yourselves and don't lose your way and give yourself some love and we'll see you next week. Cheers. Ready? Rolling? Rolling? Rolling stone? Transverse. Transverse. Is that a word? Transverse into cross. Cross into Cuba and then poop.